Hello and welcome back to a brand new vlog. I haven't vlogged in quite some time. I don't vlog very often anymore. I think in general, the pandemic kind of took that out of my routine and then next minute it became a habit to not vlog. So, hello, it is I, the girl who used to vlog absolutely everything almost. Um, but I have something exciting coming up so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to whip the camera out because a lot of you guys will probably remember the little gremlins who you're about to see in a short while because my sisters are coming to visit. Oh! I moved up the country about three years ago so I'm very far away from home so it's a big deal when my family come to visit because we can do all the different things that I usually do on my own so I'm going to take them around and be a tour guide which feels weird to say because <laughs> it wasn't long ago when I was being um, thrown around by a tour guide to understand where everything was and what everything does and now it's me who is like saying let's do this, let's go here. So I'm a little bit nervous. The idea of hosting in general makes me on edge, but now I feel like the house is a bit more put together. I feel a bit less anxious. I'm just like, it's fine. I feel like they'll give me the benefit of the doubt if I, if I mess up on anything, um, but I'm so excited. And the plans today is, I'm just gonna take them around Newcastle, going around like mainstream shops. So like not necessarily, quirky or independent shops that only Newcastle has at this point because they're arriving in at like 3 p.m. So I may as well meet them at the train station and then while we're there, just sort of like stay around that general area and just do a little bit of light shopping for a couple of hours before heading back home and then having a welcoming Chinese, of course. Would it be a visit to Ellie's flat if it doesn't start off with a fresh Chinese? I've finally discovered guys my favorite chinese takeaway place and it happens to be five minutes down my road so i'm buzzing to like show them that to be fair it's mainly good because there's like an entire menu for vegetarians like every single chinese dish has a vegetarian alternative so they might not appreciate that <laughs> we've got that and then tomorrow we're going to be going to beamish which is a living museum it's like a museum that you can kind of like move inside of. <laughs> that sounds weird. Like um, you go into like the houses that they used to have and back in the day and the dentists and the offices and and you get to really feel like you're part of like the 1930s era, 40s, 50s. I'm gonna go see if Adam's buzzing. Are you excited to see my sisters? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm excited for a long weekend off work, seeing your sisters, oh, and just, I don't know, chilling out and doing some fun stuff. And Same. Yeah, be good. Be good to have some company as well. Yeah. So normally have people over. So. No, we rarely host, and then every time I do, I'm like, we need to do that more often. Mm. And we rarely see your family, so. Yeah. And they rarely come up here, so it's a big deal for us. Yeah. Very excited. Woo! And we're gonna, I was telling them about the, the fact you can't come visit me without a introduction Chinese. <laughs> like a first night Chinese. Yeah, yeah. in the best takeaway that there is. The seal. Yes, exactly. This week, other than like getting the house in some sort of order, as she says, well, there's literal towels hanging off the doors, but that's their towels. I'm just getting dry last minute. <laughs> this week's mostly just been me doing work that I know like, guarantees me a bit of dollar dollar <laughs> while I can because I always there's that horrible guilt for me of like oh I'm not getting things done but like because I feel like I've done what I can this week I feel better about it so I don't I don't want that lingering guilt feeling I just want to enjoy myself you know what I'm saying so <laughs> that's what I've done everything's looking cute and in order somewhat woo not that my sisters have ever known me as a tidy person so they'd probably be like why isn't there mess <laughs> Loving my little plant set up here. So this was a little, what are they called? Like a clipping that a friend gave me and then it's starting to actually finally grow. It's taken forever, but we're getting there. These are some herbs I rescued from the shop the other day because they were like gonna be thrown out. And I was like, no, don't you dare. This is a little clipping that my sister gave me, which has made no progress. So she's probably gonna piss herself when she sees that. And this is a clipping that my mum gave me. Whoa, did you see that wasp? Um, 
there was a huge bee in the yard the other day and I thought it was a lawnmower, it was so loud. Um, my mum gave me this and it's actually made a lot of progress, so that's good. I put the birdhouse up the other day. I, I don't know if I've ever shown the little yard space on a vlog before in the night time because it looks like a freaking disco, I love it at the moment. <laughs> little things like that I just want to make look cute, okay? Okay, you feel me? I've even got a little library book out for Kate that I think she'd enjoy reading if she wanted to have a little read while she's here. So I have arrived, as you can see, I'm in Central. This is Newcastle Central and I guess I just wait to their arrival. I'm not quite sure what time it arrives exactly, but I'm in the best place for waiting for whenever that is. I think possibly it's the train that's coming that they're getting off. Being funny, but I have no idea where they are. She's just texted me saying that the time, the train times aren't making any sense. <laughs> if she's on the wrong train, half an hour later they arrive. Hello! Hello! You're very brown. Oh, you're so nice. That's what Vicky said. Does anyone want me to hold a bag? Without a trip to Primark. Look at this skirt, it's three pounds. Did you get anything? Oh, it's getting frustrated with us. To be fair, I wasn't expecting to be in here for so long. And here we are. I watched a documentary on Primark the other day. Did you see it? No. It was like Primark, how it, how it works or something. <laughs> we are home. It's quite dark in here. <laughs> this is my mute sister <laughs> and as I said at the beginning of this video oh, hi Kate um, what's a introduction here if there isn't a Chinese look at all these Chinese dishes and we got free stuff we have to eat all of it I don't know what that is back there and got some balls look at those Balls for days. We're basically sharing other than you over there. Mm. <laughs> and we're watching The Invisible Man. Yes. I feel good now I've got um, cozy trousers on. Yes. Well, would you look at that? Feel at home, Kate? Yeah. <laughs> Kate's like, it's not it's big so, enough. It's so comfy. Especially in the meantime. Hi there. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi, roommate. Oh, no. Why is this wobbling? It's because I knocked it when I was <laughs> getting excited. <laughs> it's gripping stuff. <laughs> Who's excited for Beamish tomorrow? Yeah. Woo! Woo! Ooh. Should Does we have to wait to get it? Bonjour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's night time now, so I can't be screaming my head off because the kids are in bed. <laughs> um, tomorrow is beamish, so join us along for that. I haven't. There's a lot that's changed at Beamish, but I'll go over it tomorrow. Um, they've added like a lot more to it than probably some a lot a lot of people remember who've watched this, who are watching this video and have also been to Beamish. I can't structure sentences, so I'm going to bed. Whoa, you like you got a beard? Mm -hmm. That's your eye mask. <laughs> Good night, Adam. Nighty night. Say so you love them.
Love one and all. Night. Good morning! Hello! No, it's my stuff fire. Here it is. Hello, dear! <laughs> what was that? Hello. Vicky's washing up. <laughs> yeah, love it. And um, what was it you said about our water? Yeah, dirty here. <laughs> that is not what she said. <laughs> An action. Action. <laughs> take two. No, yeah, it's very take. Clear here. <laughs> yeah, she thinks sand it's a lot softer on your skin. Softer on your skin. You tastier. I guess it's because there's less. I was going softer on your skin. Tastier. Is it because there's less like pollution, maybe? Well, they always say that with the. Um... <laughs> okay, it's on the way out. <laughs> Tell me in the comment section why does the water taste not as nice down south? <laughs> and it's chalky apparently as well. I don't really notice a difference myself, but Adam always talks about it. I'll bring a cup of water up with me next time. <laughs> I'm like, try this. Okay, it looks like a fairy. We're about to get the metro. Your attention, please. Customer information on Bank Holiday Monday, 2nd of May. A weekday service will operate without the additional peak trades for details. You're excited. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. Okay, it's fun. <laughs> The guy, the guy watching the CCTV is like... <laughs> it's actually a very nice day and I'm dressed for like winter, so regretting that already, but... It's not really winter, we though. It is for here. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is an obvious summer, this. Ooh. No, it's not that hot, but it might get hot in Beamish, I don't know. You match the no smoking sign behind you. <laughs> 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 smoking sign. No smoking. driver was friendly, wasn't he? <laughs> it's alright. Are you going to go ahead? Whoa! This is cute! Oh my god, Adam, you got a duck. <laughs> I'll sit here. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I'm at school. Should we try and make more space? I'm excited. I haven't been, I've been in this before. No. to the first house. This is the solicitors. Makes me wanna like have this as my own office. <laughs> the smoky ceilings. So this is the dentist. We're gonna get our teeth done. There's a lot more uh, put together. Yeah. I like the 
sound of the clocks. regularly buying tinned fruit, you know, <laughs> flushing the catch. Oh. <laughs> they look a bit scary. Nothing <laughs> to be scared of, you don't feel a thing. You don't feel a thing. Mm. <laughs> you can have some cocaine, because that's still legal at this point, so cocaine to, to numb the pain for you. Or wow. some chloroform, or if you want a full knockout job, it would be the nitrous oxide there, the laughing gas. God. But one in 30 would die from over administration. One in 30? On average, yeah, because the dentist didn't have medical training at this point. So <laughs> using this was very pity missy, very sort of risky. You had to really be careful with it. God. You could have an underlying health condition, you yeah. might have an allergy, or I might just over administer it because I thought, oh, you're the same size as that last from the other yeah. day. I'll just do, do the same, yeah. but not too much for you. Hence why you appear up front. <laughs> so you were saying you were yeah, paying yeah. advance yeah. in case you did die. <laughs> God. And then we'd throw the dead bodies out the window for the people in the back alley to collect them. Because oh, it would look bad for their reputation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, true, yeah. It reminds me of Sweeney Todd. Yeah. It's cute. <laughs> Oh my god, they're like metal, they look really cold and metal. <laughs> So they obviously lived here who worked at the dentist, mm -hmm. right? Is that a thing to pee in, even though they have a bathroom? Mm. Or is that to wash in? But then why would they need that they've also got a shower? Mm. Why not? Sick <laughs> <laughs> I think this wallpaper's like come back in fashion, to be honest. It looks like um, Helen Anderson's. Do you watch Helen Anderson? It's the sort of thing she has in her house. <laughs> She, yeah, she had an appointment as well. This is more glamorous. Oh, I like this window. little soft hot water bottle there. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Ooh, still quite fancy, isn't it? He's making aniseed, apparently. Hello. Oh, it smells so good.
next stop, I think, is the pub. Are you having a grand old time? Yeah. What's your favourite bit so far? I do like the sweet shop. Yeah. I like the fact he was making sweets at the same time as well. Yeah. He had a big wad of aniseed and he was snipping it with scissors and it was really satisfying to watch. <laughs> the bus is coming. Choo -choo. This is the pub. been in the kind of I'm guessing 30s 40s 30 40 era and then now we're about to go into the 50s era which is new actually it'll probably say on this that man on the sweet shop was like aren't you hot in that jacket I was like I'm from Brian did he say that to <laughs> you <told> it. <laughs> oh I didn't hear him oh I'm excited I haven't seen this bit before no, I was in the 50s section. Whoa, door fence. That is cool. Did they used to do that back then or something? <laughs> this is the salon. Kate's getting her hair done. She's going for the French twist. French pleat. Oh, I see. The French pleat. This is just for hair And they're in the waiting room. What are you waiting for? Cut. Joe. My turn now. <laughs> I'm getting a bow. Hey, 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 hey. Can you suggest or? Give you a polish. Is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. <laughs> I've just had my hair done. Look how cute it looks. Can you like hold it and I do a little spit? Yes. Is that on you? Okay. Oh. That's cute. That cute. Yes. How do you turn it? Cool. And then, oh yeah, keep it on her. I mean, you could just do that, yeah. I could have just done that. <laughs> Did that with her? No, no, probably. <laughs> um, and now we're outside the fish and chips. Fish and chips. And another sweet shop slash ice cream, mostly. Hmm. Yeah, I love it. I want my hair done like this every day. Yeah, oh, I should learn how to do it myself. I wouldn't be able to do it myself. <laughs> Ooh. You get an ice cream. Oh, I don't know, it was so amazing. We've just had 
a little bit of a trek up some hills. Should we just sit down? Beautiful view. Mm. And the behind Wait. you bit is nice too. Way. Oh, look at all the pickled onions. <laughs> mm. Mm. Look at that chicken at the back. It's got like a <laughs> feather stuck up its bum. I'm trying to get out of it. Let's go upstairs. Is it spooky? Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, it's very heavy on my head. <laughs> yeah. I feel dizzy. <laughs> What's a bit better in here? <sighs> oh, that view though. Wow. Oh my god. This place is stunning. I love it here, I want to move. <laughs> We're in the woods currently. I've taken my jumper off because I have a hole in my jeans, so I need to cover it up. <laughs> You are? <laughs> oh, can you hear those birds? No. <laughs> oh, they're looking for a mate or two. <laughs> oh, it's getting louder. I hear you birds, don't you worry. Oh, look at that angle. <laughs> so these are the village house gardens and that's the chapel. I haven't been in here, I don't think. Whoa. Blimey. Sit down for Sunday service, Kate. Oh, is that what they do? What is that for?
cute little house. These are the more villagey small houses in comparison to the big houses that we saw earlier, which belonged to the dentist. I thought that was a spider, but it's not. <laughs> It probably blew away in the wind. Oh, you look like him actually. Yeah, that's your... what I said. Oh, with your coat. I just said. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if my camera caught that. Good morning, world. <clears throat> so, it is now the next day. There was a big jump from what you've just seen because my battery died at Beamish and then we went to Betty's house for food and drinks and karaoke and it was great. Didn't film any of it because I was just in the moment living my life. So now me and the ladies are gonna go to the beach uh, with a picnic with some leftover food from last night. Vicky's getting her hydration on. She's been doing all the washing up, which is amazing. It's a nice day. Soak up those rays. I'm dressed like I'm about to go out clubbing. <laughs> Let that soak in. Right, let's go, ladies. We're at the beach, as you can tell. Kate's part one video. Oh, yeah, Kate's been making a TikTok of our visit. If you want to watch it, I'll leave a link. And we've got our leftovers from Betty's house. Tonight we're going out to Newcastle and I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know where we're going but the great thing about these two is that they're very easily pleased <laughs> in a good way I mean like we could have fun in a field really so like it doesn't matter what kind of bar we go into surely if we're if we're there there'll be a vibe so it's one with nature <laughs> hi we're having drinks at the sand dancer which is a god this is very blown out it's better it's very cute here can you see <laughs> i'm not really doing it justice but it's like a seasidey bar it's really cute this is where we got food last time if you watched the other vlogs oh yeah the last one in the past three years ago now god <sighs> hello we are back home now listening to music uh, getting ready for our night out. I'm not bringing my camera because I don't trust myself with it, but I might take some shots with my phone. The uh, blow up bed is placed in a rather strategic position. I don't think I've showed that before. It's funny though, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. 
Munchkin. So this is the end of the video, as you probably guessed. Um, I know it was a bit of an abrupt finish, so I thought I would give an official finish to the video. Um, as you probably could see, uh, a strange ending was me basically running into the sea at 7, 8 p.m. in the north, um, like freezing cold temperatures. It's something that I've been doing, well, I did a lot last year with a group of people from my local area. We go cold water swimming every now and again. It's supposed to be very good for the soul, very good for your mental health. It's a very good thing to do as like a community because it's a group of women who kind of want to empower each other, build each other up, chat. Some like to manifest and, and think about like their plans and their... You know, it's all about like feeling good, bigging each other up and just like going for a swim. That's something that I haven't done for a good six months. So I did my first one this year with my sisters. I thought, why not bring them along um, to the first one of the year? Because it's obviously been winter, so I haven't been doing them because it's even colder. Even in the summer, it's freezing cold at nighttime in the sea. Even in the daytime up here, it's freezing cold in the sea. In the north, in the UK, it's... Oh, that was lovely and I loved bringing them along. I think they liked it. I was really impressed with my sister. She just ran in. I think she was the first one in. First one out as well, but <laughs> I'm very proud of her for doing it. And both of them, to be honest, because they both went for it and I didn't think they were going to. But um, they did better than, than I did, maybe. Perhaps. <laughs> But yeah, it was fun and it was a good way to kind of knock the hangover out of our system because the night out was really fun. I haven't really been on a night out on my own like that. Like usually I'm tagging along with someone else who goes out a lot in this area. I haven't really had many nights out in the north like since moving here. And so to arrange and organize and plan my own one for my sisters was a little bit nerve wracking. And yeah, if you hadn't guessed, they have gone home now. I kind of just stopped filming after that, that event. Um, I felt like all of my vlog face was out and I was just done and just wanted to spend some quality time with them without filming anything. So I hope you don't mind, but I filmed as much as I could, the, the big juicy bits mostly. And it's just really nice to see them because I don't get to come here often and I stress a lot when I'm hosting, I know I do. I'm aware of it and it's annoying because I just need to enjoy the moment for what it is. Does anyone else stress a little bit before hosting or does it come naturally to you? Let me know. Thanks to you guys for coming along and watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more vlogs on the channel, do let me know in the comment section below what's your favourite part about this video that you watched. Give this video a thumbs up so you tell me that you want to see more of this kind of content because that's how I know. Subscribe to the channel to be notified every time I make a brand new video. I am on social media such as Twitter, Facebook and Instagram if you want to join me on them. I have a tarot reading Facebook and a tarot based Instagram if you want to check out the more that side of my life those social medias are there too. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys for my next video which should be very very soon and sending loads of love from my house to yours. Bye!